Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Saga of the Second Sun, in which we are playing as Filker Sigurd Snake in the Eye um, of Denmark. Yeah, we are the Filker. The Germanic faith has been reformed, and we are the head of it. And our heir is decent. No, he's not. He's, he's pretty mediocre. Uh, when this character dies, we are almost certainly going to tag switch over to Ragnar, Ragnar Snigurdsson. Ragnar Sigurdsson, who owns this area over, or will own this area over here, and actually it turns out the he will get the Kingdom of Norway. So Denmark's actually going to get split up pretty bad. In fact, what are you going to get? You're going to get the okay. So this kid is going to get the Kingdom of Pomerania, and he's going to get parts of Denmark. So Denmark's actually going to split up pretty good. I'm really interested to see how that happens. But honestly, I don't care. I really don't care. Um, I don't need to have a big old united whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe we form an empire. Hang on. What's it take to form an empire? Found a new empire. Thou First off, it takes a thousand gold. Okay, well there's that. And prestige of at least eight thousand. That isn't gonna happen in our lifetime. And realm size of at least 180, and we have realm size 76. So, hmm. Interesting. So we're not gonna form found an empire at least not a, a custom one, and it, we're almost certainly not going to... Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, you, sir. Form alliance, form defense by, by favor. Uh, I can't actually ask you to... I can't offer you vassalage. I wonder why. Why can't I do that? Anyway, I noticed that this guy here... Oh, so I had to actually console a little bit. A lot of people really dislike me right now. But one of the reasons they dislike me, or one of the reasons they did dislike me, uh, they dislike me a little bit less now. One of the reasons they did dislike me was because I possessed too many duchies. Why do you have 61,000? No, you have 61. Oh, you have 61 army levies. Okay, well. But I had too many duchies. And because I had too many duchies, they were like, oh, no, we hate you. So I was like, okay, well, fine, I will give away these duchies. And then this, because they all hated me, my council was like, nope, you can't do that. We don't want you to. But the reason you don't like me is because the du yeah, we don't want you to. Okay, so, so I, had to, I had to console these couple of kids, because these are the people who should have them. Uh, I gave these kids a couple of, a couple of duchies. There we go, and then I threw a couple of du a couple of folks underneath them, so that then I was under my vessel limit. So that's something. We are way low on money at this point. These are the troops that we had left over from. Remember when we were? Uh, okay, warriors go over there. Oh, hey, yeah. Remember when we were using? Um, the extra warriors and the Danish company and stuff that we had to fight our wars. Well, this is what we have left. We had fifth, we had five thousand something. I don't remember what it was, but mm, anyway. So that's that case. Uh, we're 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 gonna immediately declare a war so that they don't just go away. And I think it's gonna be one of two things. It's either gonna be we're gonna conquest this guy and just have him done. He's a he's an old Germanic. Oh, by the way. Our religion now only has 50 moral authority because we're technically a new religion, actually. It's not the same old religion. So this person here, the Temple of Uppsala is actually being held by a heretic. Can I tell you to, uh, no I can't, okay. No I can't. I can't tell her to stop being a heretic, but anyway. Our council, uh, I, had to, I had to reshuffle a little bit and then I gave away a lot of my money to make them not hate me, including, of course, my spy master. So my spy master is scheming or proselytizing in Jilland because it's currently Old Germanic. It seems like one county, when you when you reform the faith, faith, one county per ruler that converts becomes proper Germanic. Oh, this kid, Jarl Goodman's, look, you. Oh, I can't demand that he I can't demand that he become New Germanic. Huh. In prison? Wow. Lower all of your subjects 
Opinion of you by 40. Great. Oops, I should have checked that. Yeah, I should have given it to you instead. Well, crap. Yeah, so now I have a powerful vassal who thinks I'm a heathen. Where does it show up? Heretic, yeah. Minus 28. Well, crap. The other thing we might do, and do, notice this. Great Holy War for Sweden is right there, but I can't do it yet. It just shows you, oh, you know, if you were a better person and had taken Germany and some other stuff, you could actually declare this war. But you can't, because the era of Great Holy Wars has not begun. So whatever. If we were to do anything, it would, it would be like a conquest. What's a good one? What this one? What is that? Vest... Conquest of Vest something. Vestergotland. Yeah, we can do that. My council would love it. Let's see if we can get more than one war going at a time. This guy actually has more levies than I do currently. Oh, wow, you have a lot of... Oh, that's right, he has all this stuff up to you, too. Hmm. Hmm. Also, we could d declare a... Oh, we have a lot of threat. And because we have a lot of threat, people are going to be joining uh, joining wars against us. Which means we need to declare a war, like, right now. So, let's see here. Let's declare this conquest over here. We know that we might as well just do that. Okay. Conquest of Rogaland. And the Chiefdom of Gotland will join. Okay. Okay, we can raise a tribal army. We might do that, actually. What happens if we call our vassals? Oh, a lot of them will actually come in. That's kind of surprising. That is surprising. What happens if I decide to declare war on this guy? Nah, see, they won't do it. Because we're already in a war. Okay, well, that's something. Oh, keep in mind, uh, Denmark also includes this area now. Yay! This guy is my vassal. He likes being by a minus two. He doesn't know that I'm tyrannical. That's the thing. Okay, so it looks like we get one war at a time. Okay, bring him on over. <clears throat> so we're in a war. Yes, correct. Let's call on our vassals just to get it done quicker. We're not going to use any of our levies right now. Although, I'm tempted to go and steal some stuff from Pomerania. Why don't we just do that? How much? What do you got? 196? Yeah, you're not going to oppose me with that. Let's raise our troops. Troops and boats and troops and boats. We're going to try not to lose any more uh, troops than we have to. Um, hmm. Everybody toggle, 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 toggle. Done. Now, get on the boat. You. Get boat. You. Boat. I wish you could just do a mask get on the boat, but mm, alas. Boat. Boat. Okay, we're good. Okay, guys. Come on over. We're all looters? Yes, we are. Gulf of Danzig, kids. How's Marienburg? Yeah, you have a little loot. So we won't get a ton over here, but we'll get some. Chumno. Yeah, we'll get a little bit. Okay. See, there we go. Defensive packs. So we're going to have to actually milk this war pretty good. Are you in the... No, you're not. Can I? No, I can't because my troops are up. That's right. Oh yeah, we're pretty much just going to sit on this war for a while now that I think about it. Yeah. That's going to happen. Oh yeah, losing money. Come on. Oh gosh, yeah, definitely losing money. Holy crap. Form up. You guys form up. You guys just land. And then the boats can't create a new unit right now. But I will in a second. Yeah, there's all kinds of people in my defensive pact.
Uh, we're gonna send a bunch of these guys away. Go there. Oh, and attrition. That's not good. Uh, hey, how do we split this up? We show up there. You show up here. Okay. So the attrition is the attrition is bad because it's attrition, but it's not horrible. And Stein of Gotland actually joined that war. Interesting. So we do have a bunch of dudes ready for action right here. Hmm. That's good to know. Let's say we spend some of our prestige, huh? Intrigue. Race travel army. Come on over. Oh, wow, we're losing money. Yes, go home. Go to Scani. It's farmlands. That's plains. Plains. Ugh. Actually, we may need to use some boats. Which is unfortunate, but true. We'll deal with that in a second. I'm not leading troops, am I? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, we're not sieging, but we're stealing loot. Okay, good. of boats is going to go here, then I'm going to raise up another section of boats and we'll be able to get this army where I need it to actually be. What, do you, what war is this? He's already fighting in a war. Oh no, this guy's already fighting in a war. Why is he hostile to me? Hmm. It says that he's hostile. He says that he's not in this. Okay, no, this guy's in the war. Okay. Danish conquest of Rogalan. Stein of Gotland. Where is this guy? Oh, that guy. Oh, okay. Never mind. So this guy is sieging down this stuff. Okay, 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 okay. You're even the right. You're even the right religion. You're a reformed pagan. Why didn't you? Why, why, did, why do you come into this war? You shouldn't be in this war. You shouldn't be in this war. Mm, that's silly. Okay. Plot where Aslog Ivering Chiefess Aslog Ivering of Scani. Look, you. End plot. Will you? Yes. Thank you. Oh, real quick though. Oh, look at this girl. First off, she's old Germanic, but she's also an unworthy priestess. Nice. Who else in it? Oh. That's it. It's just her. Oh. Let time happen. Okay. Raise the boats. Oh, it's not there yet. Sweet influx of loot. All it took was like eight gold. Nice. Okay, guys, put on this boat and then come over here. Yeah, we may lose a little cash here. Go there and then go to there. Head over to Marienburg. Actually, hang on. No, there's 330 warriors there. You don't do that. You get on the boat. We'll move you later. Yes, your scheming was obviously misdirected. Ooh. Missy. Okay, you land here. Trying to make sure there's a reasonable commander here. Come on. 
we go. While I'm at it, I should probably check my main army over here. The army that I'm actually planning on, you know, using in war. Ragnar. Good, Ragnar's in battle. I think I just stole that same commander back. Yes, I did. Do I mind? Mm, no, not really. Okay. This guy should get back on the boat. Whoa! Get get on the boat. 21 September and 24 September. We're not gonna get out of there. Hmm. We just let him let him go. I think we might. Alternatively, what we could do is uh, send these guys over here. What kind of what kind of units did you do you have? What are these guys? A lot of light infantry. Hmm. Hmm. It's planes. Nah, we're just gonna lose the boat. Lose them. It's fine. Yep. Come on. Get over here. Hmm. Can I retreat? Come on, shatter. There we go. Let's go. Speaking of let's going, you guys, go home. Okay, my new troops have arrived. Let these guys get over here, and we will play with them in a sec. These poor guys have eight troops in the middle, in the center. Well, looks like we're just gonna lose them. Come on. Leave. 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 There we go. Shattered retreat to the boat. Excellent. Okay, guys, come on home. Yeah, we lost a couple hundred troops there. That's okay. Actually, it's not that okay. <laughs> Siege of Telemark tribe. Yep. Okay. Warriors. Okay, what I'm gonna do in here is making sure that we have enough troops. Just even out the troop numbers a little bit over here. Uh, that's a bit much. It'll work. It's not ideal, but actually. There we go. 2,500 in the middle with Ragnar. Nice. Okay. Let's land in Hordaland. Or Rogaland. Let's siege down their stuff. Oh, sweet. 16 gold. I, something, I guess? Okay, guys, go home. It was fun. <laughs> we lost some troops. We got some gold. And that's about it. Shit, what is this? And here we go. All right. Filker Sigurdur has died and been succeeded by Filker Knud. The defensive pack op opposing Sigurdur Knickling has been disbanded. Interesting. Okay. King Sigurd feasts in Valhalla at age 47. He died of terminal stage leprosy. A shining example of diligence, his duty was never neglected. A godly man, Sigurd, Sigurd is with Odin now. Up next, kind of... Is King Knud a bullheaded man? Knud's subjects have a hard time getting a word in after he makes up his mind. Long live King Knud. Okay. Now, what's going on here? Oh, pretty much all of those troops went away. Like, all of them. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, Denmark. Okay. Oh, wow. Feel here, Knud. Where's my brother? 
Ah, uh, interesting. My brother, King Ragnar of Norway. Um. Okay, this is interesting. So there, I fixed it. Okay, so the succession happened. Our lovely father, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, just died uh, less than a year after he reformed the faith. The last thing he did, our our poor leper father, was he he managed to unite our people just enough to to call for one religious ruler and then our uh, <clears throat> and then he died and and things got split up now things did not get split up in any way that made any sort of sense to me um, and it didn't get split up in any way that it said that it was going to get split up so I just consoled that stuff um, so that's that's the way the world looks now Norway is about what you would expect it to look like plus the Irish stuff plus uh, they the lovely computer said that I was gonna get said that uh, sorry Ragnar. Oh yeah, we're currently playing as King Ragnar of Norway uh, because we tag switched. We also did a bunch of other stuff. But King Ragnar of Norway, Nor I have no idea how to pronounce that. Norag, Norag, Norager. Anyway, Norway. King Ragnar of Norway. Um, what was I gonna say? was going to get this stuff and the Irish stuff and then the King of Norway or Kingdom of Norway. King Ormer of Pomerania was going to get these three counties plus all the stuff that was Pomerania or that was in the Kingdom of Par uh, Pomerania. So that's just what I did. Denmark was left with virtually nothing. I just want to point that out. There's there's nothing here. Uh, he has, he has two good counties. I mean, these are good counties. Don't don't get me wrong. And then he has a couple of vassals. Yeah, these guys. Oh, well, and, and actually he has this too. He has all this old Swedish stuff, but I have no idea how well he's going to be able to hold that together, especially since one of these, one of his vassals kind of hates him because he's a heretic. So, so yeah, I, I what I ended up doing was I went, I don't want to go into too much detail, but I, I went back to previous saves. I saw what who was gonna saw who was gonna get what. I made sure that those people got it. I then also tried out a few different things where I won't really won't go into too much detail on this, but I did a lot of little tests. I'll tell you what, King Sigurd died a whole lot of times in my little tests. Um, just you know, I I made him die, and just to see what happened with the the uh, the succession, and it was very illuminating. And it, what it told what it taught me was that the thing that I should do is that anytime I have a kingdom title that may split off, I should have a couple of domain, like one or two domain counties in that kingdom title. So that's something I'm gonna try to go, uh, try to make happen. So anyway, that's, that's the thing. Now, we get to figure out what we're gonna do as good old King Ragnar. So we are King Ragnar. We are really good. Which of course means that we're going to die of cancer in like a year and a half. But our worst stat is stewardship of eight, which is just fine, thank you. Um, we're this this is going to get cancelled. Become a counselor, that's going to get cancelled. So that's that's good enough. Uh, but we have to let some time go forward. We're not going to let time go forward yet. We are going to take family focus. We so okay. This character. He is a brilliant strategist, siege leader, quick child of a concubine. That's not a big deal. Honest, patient, diligent, and brave. This character wants to be a good ruler. A, f a good and fair ruler. But first things first, he knows that in order to rule properly, he needs an heir. Like, right now, we don't game over because if we die, if we were to die tomorrow, uh, the Filker would take over Norway. Which isn't that bad, and he knows it's not bad, but really, he, uh, he wants a son of his own. We do have claims on Denmark and Pomerania. And at some point, we may go after that. But I kind of feel like I'm only going to do that if one of them declares on me. But I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. To be completely honest, I'm split between two options. One is completely forget about all the stuff up here. And soak up. Soak up Ireland. Just, just kill Ireland. It's not that hard to do. Turn warriors. 
these people? 269. Oh, yes, 200. Oh, sorry, 296. Yes, 296 uh, event spawn troops. Why do you have 296 event spawn troops? Anyway, who knows? Okay, so yes, he, he's going to think primarily about rulership. One of the things he's going to think about an awful lot is that... Um, oh yeah, so one of two things we're going to do. We're either going to soak up Ireland, and we're probably going to do it no matter what. But I'm looking over here at the Empire of Scandinavia. I've done the math. We are 42... Um, we have 42 counties to pick up in the Empire of Scandinavia in order to form the Empire. And not that I necessarily want to have a big united empire. That's not necessarily what this character is all about. You know, have a big united empire from which like, he and his descendants can go forth through, for the rest of time. That's not really his thing. What is his thing, though, is, you know, could be really good. Uh, I mean, it's, there's a lot of glory in that. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool doing that. Speaking of, dear sir, you want to uh, join our little, join our kingdom? Yes, you do. Okay. So Nordland's going to join up. We'll probably go take on Finnmark and give it to him. So, yeah. What are we, what are we going to do? Well, let's, let's deal with a few obvious things here. So, yeah, either, either soak up Ireland and took over the British Isles and maybe attack West Francia or Lotharangia. Oh, speaking of West Francia, um, hey. Join existing defensive pact. Yeah, check that out. Yup. He has three different defensive packs against him. All of which are pretty powerful. So West Francia's options are limited for who he can go after. Who, who are in your packs? Oh, he has 52 packs. Yeah, King of Lotharingia is his, uh, is his ally. So that's interesting. Huh. Lotharingia. King Lothar the Terrible. Who's your heir? Some girl. Oh. Is that a bastard? Yes, he is. Okay. King Lothar the Terrible. First off, he is a bastard. Why you didn't legitimize him, I don't know, because now... Oh, she's a bastard, too. Hang on. No, sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, she's a bastard? Hang on. Yeah, she's a bastard. Yeah, wow, okay. This 12-year-old, ugly, slow kid who's actually doing pretty well on stats for being slow. It's, she's actually not bad. Uh, is, is the sole heir to Lotharingia. That's amazing. And she's betrothed to another Carling, which is only going to make things worse. Wow. <laughs> make, make good choices, kids. Make good choices. Oh, don't do that, kids. Anyway. So, yeah, this is the state of the world. We are going to set up our council, because that's a smart thing to do. Luckily... Oh, and a thing that came about, because it turns out when you console... So the way the way I had to console this was I had to ha uh, console you know, this county goes to the king character the king and then the the county is consoled back to the original owner. The problem with that is this. I figured a con doing it as a was a console. Uh, it would just sort of be like oh this happened to come this way. No, uh, there's a plus forty granted a county which which really stacks up. Like with this guy, Tori of, no of Nidoros. He gets granted a county, plus 120. There was no way around this. Now, granted, this guy's going to die. He has great pox. He's going to die. So his um, his children are going to not have that same... Ooh, she's a, she's a heretic. That's not good. Are, are, they, all, are they all heretics? That's not good. Hmm. So when this guy dies, then we don't have that same sort of 
inordinate amount of uh, gratitude. So that'll help things a whole lot. But our council, make it happen. Um, I'm sorry, 16 diplomacy is just too good. Chief of Hostess Land, come on over. Um, I'm gonna give the marshal. I think I'm gonna make uh, Hakan the chief of Heltland. I think I'm gonna make him a commander. I'm gonna make the chief of Nidoros our marshal. Steward, this is lovely. Seventeen stewardship. Oh yeah, and you want to be on the council, chief of Adgar. Why don't you? Uh, Kiltvi the Whisperer, he likes me, and he has 17 Intrigue. And our Seer, that's dumb. Uh, no, 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 no. Five, our only option has, has five learning. That's really silly, actually. Yeah, our only option has five learning. So we are going to invite a holy man to court. We're gonna invite two. Please tell me we got someone good. No, no, we really didn't. We're gonna invite another couple. <laughs> Invite holy man to court. Come on, give me two more. There we go. Eighteen. There we go. Good seer. We're gonna proselytize in what's actually about to be the capital. Speaking of, hey, Jilland, be in my capital. It's a really, really great province. Uh, that in my tests, it was a much better province. Hmm. Anyway. That should be better. Okay, let's get... Oh no, I know what the problem is. We're gonna train troops. We're not gonna organize raid yet. We're just gonna train troops. Yeah. Prove diplomatic relations. Let's see our realm tree. Why does this woman have such high relative strength? That's amazing. Connor. Where's Connor? Temple of Connor. Yep, that's her. Interesting. She must have done some really good uh, investments. Chancellor, improve relations. And we can't improve diplomatic relations there anyway. Okay. Let's go back to our realm tree. Let's talk to Kyotve the Whisperer, Chief of Agar. Right there. Or Agder. Let's convince him that we're a nice guy. Steward. Um, build legend in the capital, it looks like. We will use those warriors. We're not going to go to war super soon. Okay, another thing about our character. So he, he does want to... Okay. He wants to be a good ruler. And one of the things that he sees is all around him, uh, there are these, these folks with these big old castles. And he says, I want one of them. We need to move forward. Our father reformed the religion. It's our turn to reform the government. So, in order to do that, though, we need some tech. <laughs> it turns out. We also need 110 gold, but we can get that in fun ways. Okay. We need castle infrastructure one. We are so darn close. Yeah, we are so darn close. I think we need, what, 30? We're going to produce plenty of our own, actually. But not yet. Technology. No, not technology. So, we're going to study technology. Find someone who has a really, really great castle and say, hey, copy their stuff. And I think that's what we're going to do with that. Title loss and succession... Interesting. Oh, that's right. Gavelkind is still in force right now. Meaning that if we die, our stuff will get distributed to our two brothers. That's interesting. So yeah, King of Denmark, King of Pomerania, they don't like me very much because they have t claims on my titles. This is King Ormer of Pomerania. He's almost going to be an adult. He's a lisp. He's scarred, playful, cruel, and slothful. He's kind of terrible, but we'll, we'll take him on later. Council's discontent. It's always discontent. 
special minor minor titles grantable. We will do that in a second. Oh hey, that reminds me. Okay, he already has that guy already has an honorary title. We have no money. We have none cash and we're making very, very little. But we'll uh we'll we'll do something about that soon enough. Successor nomination, yeah. Might as well vote in Knud. He's the better option right now. Oh, that's what it was. Laws. We need high tribal organization. I'm going to wait a little bit on this to see what people are going to do. I don't want to start a... Uh, I don't want to start a vote if it's not going to go through. So, you can press Dejure the Ducal Claims. I'll do that. Vessel Inheritance Warning. I know. Harold Fairhair. Look you. Have a boy. All right. Set crown focus. Oh, that's right. Crown focus. We'll do that in Jilland. Crown focus. There we go. And we will deal with court position later. No, we want minor titles. A designated regent is currently this woman. She likes me by 20. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Minor titles. Designated regent. Who loves me? Uh, how about the chief of Nidoros? Although he's about to die. Um, the chief of Turkong. Oh, he's the... Well... What's someone with really high intrigue? Who also likes me. Yes, the chief of Vestisland. He likes me by 43. There we go. Now he likes me by 53. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now, court position, do we got one? Yes, the seer, okay. I figure 18 learning is good enough. And there we go. Oh, commanders. Good commanders, yes. Hacken. And then things kind of drop off that from there. Because all these guys are working somewhere. We might pr promote a commander, but we're gonna do that later. Um. Yeah. Our marshal's good though. We'll we'll see what we can do. Anyway, on that note, uh let's let's call it there. No, there's one last thing we're gonna do. Our father uh betrothed us to this young woman, Adelaida Somogi. She's Hungarian and Tangri. I don't actually know where her father lives. Like where where do you exist? Holder Domain Somogi clan Somogi clan. I don't understand what that means so uh you know what also she's what 12 she's 14 mm, i need money now so we're gonna break break the betrothal and we're gonna do this i'm gonna find an adult cronia i don't who who do you belong to Oh no, we're gonna go to war with them. There's a very high, there's a very good chance we go to war with them. The question is, who do we want a non-aggression pact with? Satakunta or Coronia? I think it's gonna have to be Coronia. Yeah, and we'll and here's the thing, we would. Okay, we're gonna gain seven prestige. Okay, let's do it. But let's uh, let's see what comes of that in the next episode. We didn't even this has been less than a year actually on this episode. It's been a fairly long episode, but Succession's crazy, and here we are. So, yeah, state of the world. I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well, and I do in fact look forward to seeing you next time.